the first overall pick in the draft of this year is something we didn't see the Bears coming on that pike. Although before the season, though, Chris, remember when the Bears and the, the Seahawks played a preseason game where like this is for the first overall pick, we right? Did, yeah, we did say we that. We did say that. And the Bears won, right? Which led me to say it's Seahawks. It's Seahawks. And the Seahawks are the seventh seed <laughs> right. and the Bears are the fir- are first on the <laughs> clock after going 2-1 and one to start the season, beating Trey Lance and the Niners to start. That better be on the list tomorrow. And so the Bears are first overall. They were 2-1 and one and then finished 1-13. and 13. That's how you do it. And <laughs> Lovey Smith, Lovey, Lovey, Lovey. Uh, gives one last piece of assistance to the Bears by playing to win in a game where, I mean, when Albert said, when I asked him, did Lovey Hello. know he was out when he's call when he's when he's hail marrying and going for two? Because if he did, that would be one of the. I mean. He opened a spite store in Houston. <laughs> okay. He can get coffee. Right? He, coffee. he had the beans. He, had the beans. he, had the beans. he wound beans. up having the beans. the beans at the end. He got the beans. He, he had, had the beans. beans. Just uh, don't do any heated coffee. Boy, he, and he, he, he put those beans on the table. Hey, now. Right? Wow. That's funny. Okay. And, <laughs> and Albert's like, yeah, writing was on the wall. Writing was on the wall, and the Bears wound up getting the first overall selection. And whereas Houston would have had a choice of any quarterback they want in the draft, any quarterback they want in the draft, now it's possible it would be quarterback number two if two things happen. One, the Bears traded away this draft choice to a team that falls in love with a quarterback. And you're already beginning to hear the whole yeah, rumbling from the talent evaluation community. Yeah, there's no quarterback out there you're going to fall in love with to go trade up to go get. Oh, okay. Okay. No one's that deeply in love with Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, or keep going on and on and on. And we're going to identify the quarterback class for you one by one between now and the combine and then the draft. As we're now in that part of the year, knowing who's first overall and second overall, we know the draft order. So that's one aspect. Or if they decide to be the one themselves to fall in love with a quarterback and trade away Justin Fields. Like, what would be more valuable to this team if you're stockpiling for draft choices? Go get the draft choices for Justin Fields, who's shown some incredible ability over the first two years of his career while getting beaten up behind an offensive line that's just uh, getting better, but, you know, the Bears' offense was definitely more higher register of being good than people thought, despite their 3-14 and 14 final record. What do you do? Ryan Poles, the general manager, was asked that very question in his press conference today. You have the first pick. There are people that sit there go, the quarterback might be available there. You're saying Justin's your guy. Well, we're going to do the same as we've always done. We're going to evaluate the draft class. And I would say this, I'd have to be absolutely blown away to make that type of decision. Okay, I'd have to be blown away to make that type of decision. And you heard Albert Breer just say, I spoke with Matt Eberflus at length about this, about Justin Fields and their evaluation of him on Saturday night, this fresh conversation. And Eberflus said, you know, they will evaluate him. They love him. They think he's great. They think he's a leader. They think he's done everything right. But... They will evaluate, and even he said that maybe you trade away the first overall pick for a ton of picks, and then you have multiple picks next year. You use the picks this year to supplement Justin Fields and the team, and what multiple picks you get for future years, you can maybe package together and go get Caleb Williams or Drake May, two guys who might lead the draft class at quarterback right now if they were eligible. I mean, Caleb Williams, all you're hearing is that's the next Mahomes. That's what you're hearing. The next Mahomes. That said, uh, some people said that about Zach Wilson, too. Jury's out. I mean, who are these people? Tony Romo? Tony Romo. So yeah. that, that's the ceiling for him? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the one time Tony Romo's <laughs> ever been wildly off is about Zach Wilson. Of course, that's uh, that's it. Or do you trade Justin Fields? I don't think right the Bears now, fans are down for that. I all, wouldn't be but, either. 
I don't think I wouldn't so. be either. I, I really love what he's done. Can we get some Bears fans to call in? I mean, specifically one who might be sitting in the back controlling the phones. Or your friend in the barn? <laughs> Who he had scream Eberflus? <laughs> I don't know what. I haven't talked to him in a minute. I don't know what he's doing. One from our family, Adam, and one from, I guess, our collective family. Uh, you know. Uh, Ashton? Sure. But uh, I, this is going to be a nonstop conversation non-stop. between this day and yeah. draft day. What does Jeff Garland do? Nonstop oh, yeah, conversation. Gone. I'll tell you what I think they should do. We'll trade the pick. I think, or... <laughs> I don't know. What if Will Anderson is, or Jalen Carter, or there's a defensive player out there that that's their brand. That's your brand. Yeah. Your that's brand is a Bears. The Monsters of the Midway, man. It is a Bears organization. That is your brand. And then what's off brand and newfangled is your current quarterback. Yeah. I mean, that's another option, too. But trading the choice. Linebacker at number one is. Wild. Not a, not a thing that well, happens. Uh, but, I mean, linebackers you know? also r- rush the passer, too. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Micah Parsons would, on a redraft would go number one. Don't you think? I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff yeah. against the wall right now. Thursday, April right 27th in Kansas City. Between now and that date, this is the conversation because the Bears are number one and Lovey helped make Lovey. it happen of all coaches. Right. <laughs> That's true. Going out the door, opening a spite store in Houston. I'm going to re- live the rest of my existence believing that Lovey did that for the Bears. No, of course. <laughs> that won't be happening. That's probably not what it was. He probably did it for not. himself. He did probably it not, but I'm going to There is an it. I in Lovey and Smith. <laughs> Much in the same way I believe Jerry West gifted the Lakers Pal Gasol all those years ago. Right. But, I mean, I, yeah. But wouldn't you, what like, what you would have to get um, a draft choice whoever comes and gets him. Can you put the draft up one more time, Hoskins? Let's just dive in a little bit on this. The draft order. You'd have to, if you trade the one, you'd have to, you you wouldn't have to go fall. Very, you can't fall very far. Well, you'd okay? trade it to the Colts or Texans, right? Well, the Texans, but would the Texans give you a one next year just to move up one spot? I doubt it. If they love one of the two But guys. I doubt it. I doubt it. The Colts, I mean, who else would, who else would come up and get somebody that you, they loved so much? The Seahawks? I don't know. You sit right there. Raiders. I mean, the Raiders. The Raiders seem like they're either Tom Brady or drafting a guy. Well, they just, but Chris, they were just evaluating Jared Stidham. Didn't you hear that? They wanted to see what they had in him, even though it's not like the mystery man to Josh <laughs> McDaniels. Know, you know He's had him in his system for years. By the way, <laughs> put that up one more time if I you don't mean Stidham my, Mr. Hoskins. I saw some passes the other day that of made course, me go, I hear this you. kid could play. He but the, okay. The but Panthers, well, the Falcons aren't moving up. The Panthers, I mean. I don't know who would move up because you're not going to move out of one and then fall all the way down in the middle of the draft. You can't. No, because you, you're not going to get. You're not going to get Carter. So you, or right. Anderson. So I don't know if that draft's going to – that trade's going to be there. Like someone's going to trade you their pick this year to come up to one and next year to come up to one. So you'll have multiple picks next year. And then, by the way, who would trade away Caleb Williams or, or the kid from North Carolina? Right. To a team that's so quarterback needy, like who would who would tap out? Somebody might be doing that same, you know. Do we stick with our current guy or the or the new kid that we've fallen in love with? You know, either or that we're we're placing on the doorstep of the Bears right now. Somebody might do that next year to their their already established plan at quarterback. I, I mean, this is fascinating. Yeah. And thank you, Lovey Smith, for spitting in the eye of the Texans to place this in front of us. <laughs> Rather than just like, who are the Texans going to take first overall at quarterback? This has just opened up so many more pathways of interesting conversation for the draft. Way to way to go, Lovey! And thank you to the uh, Indianapolis Colts defensive back who decided <laughs> to pick off a hail mary rather than knocking it down. And then the two pointer. Way to dial up that play. And then the two point conversion. Oh yeah. Yeah. Way to dial up the two pointer. It was nice. Nineteen eighty eight. The last time a linebacker was drafted number one. In I the love draft. it. Lovey's like, we're not playing for overtime when I could spit in the eye of the McNair family. All right. Early mock draft to have the Bears taking Will Anderson. That's what I just said. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Because he can rush the passer, man. He can get after you. Don't be fooled by the linebacker. Bryce Young two, Jalen Carter three, C.J. Stroud four. Okay. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.